Hello students and welcome to our third video here for nonlinear functions. Today we're going to look at exponential functions. In the last two videos we were looking at quadratics which had y equals x to the power of 2 or some variation on that. I'm going to change that around a little bit here. Instead of saying y equals x to the 2, I'm going to look at functions that might be something like y equals 2 to the power of x. So x is part of the power or the exponent. That's why these are called exponential functions. Again, these are very important for modelling physical phenomena. Uh, and they can represent situations where things get bigger or things get smaller. I'm going to look at both those cases. Now, y equals 2 to the power of x is a very common form of this equation. And its graph looks something like this. You'll notice that, first of all, it's increasing from left to right always going up and it's going up at an increasing rate all the time it's always getting steeper okay that's important it crosses the vertical axis the y-axis here at one that's because two to the power of zero doesn't equal zero that's a common mistake two to the power of zero equals one so that's why it crosses there that's an important point here on the left here it looks as though it's coming down and joining up with the x-axis that's not what's actually going on there. If you zoomed in really close, closely, you would see that those two lines are close together and always getting closer as I move further to the left, but they never meet. Okay. What we have there is what's called a horizontal asymptote, right, where my function continues to get closer to that line, but doesn't ever meet it. So a horizontal asymptote, and increasing at an increasing rate. Now, if I have this function here where the base is one half instead of two, right, this part is called the base, then my graph looks like this, sort of like a mirror image in a way. And this time, my horizontal asymptote still occurs, but this time it approaches that asymptote on the right instead of the left. Uh, and my graph is always decreasing. We might call this exponential growth and exponential decay. So where my base is greater than one, the curve is always increasing. Uh, and the bigger that base, the steeper the curve. Where my base is between zero and one, can't be negative, but it can be between zero and one, a small number, then the curve will always be decreasing. Right? If you think of it this way, a half of a half is quarter and a half of a quarter is an eighth, and a half of an eighth is a sixteenth, and so on. That's what's happening as I go along this way. It continues right, to halve every step along to the right. So it's always decreasing. Uh, however, uh, it's decreasing as it approaches zero. Right, so it's decreasing at a decreasing rate. Now, a couple of other graphs. Four times two to the power of x and 0 0.3 times 2 to the power of x. Well, this one here, we probably can expect that to be showing sort of faster growth than before. Well, now, if the base gets bigger, it grows faster. Well, if the coefficient uh, is a bigger number, it grows faster again. I still have my horizontal asymptote here on the left, but this changes my y-intercept up to 4, because I get 4 times 1. Now, over here, my coefficient is between 0 and 1, but the base is still greater than 1, so I still get exponential growth, just slower than in this case. So you can see here it takes longer to pick up, and my y-intercept uh, is down here at 0 0.3 instead of at 4. Radio. So a coefficient there changes how steeply those graphs rise or fall. Um, we could say it moves the graph what does it say here? Up or down? It also, well, uh, it, it changes the steepness of the graph. It does change the graph left and right in lots of ways. So I'd be a bit careful about those statements there. It moves it left and right as much as anything else. Um, but really, it changes the steepness, how quickly that curve changes. So let's just go over what we did here in exponential functions. If I have something like a to the power of x, right, where x is in the power, it's an exponential function. Where the base is more than 1, it increases at an increasing rate, 
that's called exponential growth. And where the base is a small number, between 0 and 1, it's decreasing at a decreasing rate. That's called exponential decay. Righto, that's it for now. If there's anything that doesn't make a lot of sense, that could be the case. Make sure you jot it down so you can ask me in class. I'll see you there.